diseases against which COVID-19 will seem like a slight malaise. According to the WHO, at the beginning of 2022, about 5,700,000 people died from the coronavirus pandemic. And although the coronavirus pandemic will definitely get into the history books, it is unlikely that it will be given an honorable place on the list of the greatest epidemics. Antonin's Plague. Date, 160 to 180 victims, most 7 million people. The Plague of Antoninus, or, as it is also called, the Plague of Galen, is named after a Greek doctor who lived in the Roman Empire, who described this disease. According to modern historians, it claimed the lives of 7 to 10 million people, even though the total number of inhabitants of the empire at that time was just over 50 million in densely populated cities such as Rome, Ephesus, and Athens, the plague wiped out up to a third of the population. Because of the developed trade routes, this disease has penetrated even to the most remote corners of the empire. Most likely, because of this plague, the Roman emperors Lucius Verus died in 169 and Marcus Aurelius in 180. The first cases of infection appeared during the Parthian War 161 to 166, when the Romans captured and plundered Seleucia on the Tigris. Soon the losses from diseases in the army became so great that Lucius Verus cancelled the attack on media and dismissed the troops to their homes. It was a fateful decision that led to the spread of the disease throughout the empire. Of course, very little reliable information about this disease has reached us. Galen himself wrote that patients had fever, diarrhea, pharyngitis, and a rash. Now scientists assume that it was smallpox or measles, but it is quite difficult to determine for sure. Of course, then they did not know how to effectively treat this disease. In the arsenal of doctors there were bloodletting, medicinal herbs and magical rituals, yes. They were also considered quite a medical practice. In addition to official medicine, many sorcerous charlatans who sold life-saving amulets and spell formulas spread throughout the empire. This epidemic was associated with the end of the Golden Age in the Roman Empire. It has become commonplace in the country not to have enough soldiers to protect the borders from barbarian raids. Rome began to assimilate neighboring tribes more actively, and their cultural and political influence in the empire increased. Trade has seriously weakened, the number of professional workers has sharply decreased, and the overall state of the economy has deteriorated significantly. Religious sentiments intensified, and Christianity and Mithraism gradually began to displace traditional beliefs. The Plague of Justinian Date, 541 years before the middle of the 7th century. Victims, about 90 million people. The plague was named after the Byzantine Emperor Justinian I. And this, by the way, was the first recorded pandemic in history. It covered North Africa, Europe, Central and South Asia and Arabia, taking in more than 90 million lives. There is no consensus on where this disease came from. According to historians and chroniclers, it originally broke out in the Egyptian city of Pelusium, which at that time was the center of international trade. The historians of Pelusium, of course, denied this fact. According to their testimony, the plague began somewhere in Africa. And only in 2017, scientists found out that the causative agent of the plague was imported from China along with rodents, since it was possible to get infected both from the bite of an infected rat and from its fleas. From Egypt, the plague, along with merchant ships, got to Byzantium and from there to Europe. At the height of the plague in 544, up to 5,000 people a day died in Constantinople, and sometimes the death rate reached 10,000. As a result, the city's population has decreased by two-thirds. According to the Antioch lawyer of Agrius Scholasticus, by the way, they had the plague, but miraculously survived. The disease proceeded in bubonic and septic forms. In the first case, lymph nodes increased in the human body. Because of this, characteristic growths be bones appeared on the patient's body. In the second case, 
There were no external signs, only fever, shortness of breath, rapid pulse. And this form scared people much more than bubonics, because by all indications a healthy person died a couple of days after infection. As a result, Byzantium was left with practically no non-disabled citizens, trade and crafts froze, the surviving residents were engaged exclusively in the burial of the dead. The plague, by the way, did not stop there and reached Europe, where it claimed the lives of at least 25 million more people some historians even say about 50 million. The Black Death Day 1338-1353 victims, about 200 million people. One of the most famous pandemics in history, which claimed the lives of about 60% of the world's population. The virus was rampant in China, Mongolia, India, Syria, Egypt, and across Europe. The main vectors of infection were rat and human flea species. The plague was terrifying because of its 99% lethality and because no one could figure out what was causing the disease. As a result, pagan cults and superstitions were revived throughout Europe. Hundreds of people were killed because of suspicions that they poisoned wells or spread the plague in other ways. And the Jews got the most out of it all. The reason was that they suffered less from the plague than Christians. Mainly because Jewish communities in medieval cities lived very separately, as well as because of the strict rules of personal hygiene prescribed by Judaism. Jewish pogroms swept through the largest cities of Europe Tulin, Zurich, Basel, Barcelona, Munich. So, in Strasbourg in 1349, on the night of February 14th, the townspeople burned 900 Jews alive. Like the plague of Justinian, the Black Death proceeded into forms the bubonic and septic. And some patients had a pulmonary form, in this case, coughing and hemoptysis went with the disease. In many ways, the Black Death is compared to the Antonini Plague, because it also had an impact on the economy, culture, and even the psychology of the entire population of Europe. Kukulitsky Date, 1545-1578 victims, about 15 million people. Kokolitzli pestilence in Nahuatl is a disease that has broken out in Mexico and Central America. It was brought there by the Spaniards, who arrived in the, the 16th century. The mortality rate from this disease was 90%. Because of it, the ancient Aztec civilization was almost destroyed. The historian Juan de Tortmada wrote that because of the epidemic, the country that we know as New Spain is almost deserted. Researchers are still arguing what kind of disease it was, either typhoid fever or hemorrhagic fever. Among the symptoms of the disease were fever, headache, darkening of the tongue, convulsions, bleeding from the nose and ears. Patients died three to four days after the onset of the disease. Interestingly, at first the disease affected young people, and older people survived more often, but over time it began to affect everyone. At the same time, mass mortality was only among the local population. The Spaniards themselves either did not get infected with it, or easily tolerated the disease. Therefore, many Europeans called this epidemic a divine punishment sent to the Indians for idolatry. They tried to treat this disease with the help of teriac, a mixture of numerous herbs and minerals. The local plant Coninopili passiflora sisioides was also used, but the effect of such drugs was zero. Cholera Pandemics Date 1816 to 1975 victims, more than 60 million people. Cholera is a particularly dangerous acute intestinal infection with a high mortality rate, with which humanity has been intimately familiar since ancient times. Initially, cholera outbreaks occurred mainly only in India and Southeast Asia, only occasionally affecting Europe. But since the beginning of the 19th century, due to a mutation of the pathogen according to some researchers, focal outbreaks of cholera have developed into pandemics. There are seven of them in total. But the first three are considered the largest. The first pandemic, 1816 to 1824, it began near Calcutta. From there it spread to the Middle East, Southeast Asia, East Africa, and Europe. It ended only in the winter of 1823 to 1824 due to the abnormal cold that killed the bacteria in the infected reservoirs. 
The exact number of victims is unknown. There is information about the dead in specific regions. For example, more than 100,000 people died on the island of Java alone, 100,000 people died in Korea and more than 8 million people died in India. The second pandemic, 1829 to 1851, it also started in India, spreading to Western Asia, Europe, America, China, and Japan. As a result, it affected all continents. The exact number of victims is also unknown. The death rate in Russia was 230,000 people, in France, 200,000 people, in Egypt, up to 150,000 people. The third pandemic, 1850 to 1860, it started in India and spread throughout Europe, North Africa, and reached the USA, Canada, Mexico, and the entire Caribbean. There is no exact data on the victims, but it is believed that during the third pandemic there was the highest mortality in the 19th century. In 1854, the British doctor John Snow, no, not the one in Game of Thrones, established that contaminated water was a means of transmitting the disease. Thus, it has become easier to prevent epidemics and outbreaks of cholera in the future. But still, until the middle of the 20th century, it remained one of the most dangerous epidemic diseases. Currently, cholera is not as dangerous as it used to be because doctors have learned how to treat it, but outbreaks of this disease are still observed. The latter, according to WHO, was registered in 2019 in the Republic of Sudan. The Third Plague Pandemic Date 1855-1910 Victims, more than 12 million in India and China alone. The epidemic began in 1855 in the Chinese province of Yunnan, spread around the world, and stopped only by the 1910s. But, according to the World Health Organization, echoes of this pandemic continued until 1960. 12 million people died in India and China alone, but there are no general statistics of deaths at the moment. However, it is believed that this is one of the deadliest pandemics in the history of human beings. Now, researchers tend to believe that this pandemic included two sources. The first was bubonic, it was he who spread all over the world, and the second was pulmonary, was mainly only in Mongolia and Manchuria. However, it was during this pandemic that the cause of the disease and its carriers were discovered. In 1894, in Hong Kong, the French biologist Alexander Yersin identified the bacterium Yersinia pestis and determined the method of transmission of rodents. Their discoveries made it possible to create modern methods of treatment, insecticides, antibiotics, and a vaccine. Smallpox pandemics. Date, before 1979 victims, more than 600 million people. The only virus that has been completely defeated. The World Health Organization announced its complete elimination in 1979. It is not known exactly where and when this disease came from. According to one version, from Africa or Asia in the 3rd millennium BC, according to another, according to genetic studies, it passed to take care of camels in the Middle East at the beginning of our era. Smallpox epidemics were constantly occurring almost all over the world, but from the 15th century smallpox raged in Europe almost continuously until a vaccine was developed at the end of the 18th century. Smallpox has left a very deep mark on the culture of all human beings. For example, there is a version that it is mentioned in the Bible in the description of Egyptian executions. And there will be inflammation with boils on people and cattle throughout the land of Egypt. It is also mentioned in the Quran in the description of the siege of Mecca 569 to 570. It is said that the Ethiopian army was struck by this disease. And more on the topic. The last outbreak of smallpox in the USSR occurred in 1959. Smallpox was deadly and widespread everywhere, but the fear of it was even stronger. For example, the king of the West Frankish kingdom, Charles II, because of fears that the disease would reach him, ordered the killing of all infected. And the Burgundian queen Ostrigilda, before her death, asked her husband to execute the doctors who could not cure her. Almost every person in Europe at that time had smallpox.
There was even a saying in Germany, few people will escape smallpox and love, and the doctors argued that everyone should get over smallpox at least once in their life. Infected with smallpox, a person becomes covered with ulcers in a few days. At the same time, his temperature rose, and there were pains in his limbs. In the later stages, delirium began, disturbances of consciousness, and convulsions manifested themselves. Survivors could lose their eyesight, almost all had scars, and scars on the site of ulcers after the disease. Spanish Flu Date, 1918-1921 victims, about 100 million people. The H1N1 flu Spanish flu in just two years affected more than 500 million people, claimed the lives of more than 100 million and this, by the way, at that time was about 5% of the world's population. The disease was rampant on absolutely all continents except Antarctica. The epidemic began at the end of the First World War, which is why it spread quickly. Unsanitary conditions, vitamin deficiency, poor nutrition, and crowding of people contributed to this. The first patients appeared in the United States, but military censorship forbade countries that participated in the war to report losses among personnel due to diseases. Therefore, neutral Spain was the first to announce the epidemic. The Spaniard had to features, high infectivity and rapid development of complications leading to death. During the disease, headache, low blood pressure, tachycardia, temperature spikes, and bloody cough were observed. But often the disease could pass without any symptoms. And interestingly, children and the older died from the flu much less often than people in their prime. This flu has claimed the lives of many famous people. From her, for example, died Yakov Sverdlov, former comrade in arms of Lenin, former formal head of the RSFSR, Vera Kolodnaya is one of the first Russian movie stars, a silent film actor. Vilhelm Apollinaire is a French avant-garde poet, the inventor of surrealism. Max Weber is a famous German philosopher. Francisco de Paula Rodriguez Alves is the president of Brazil. As a result, according to rough estimates, more than 100 million people died from the Spanish flu. This is more than died during the two world wars. This flu suddenly disappeared. According to some scientists, the flu has mutated into less deadly strains. However, no one can firmly prove this. Human Immunodeficiency Virus HIV Date, 1981 to the present Victims, about 40 million people. The date of appearance is 1981, when the first clinical report appeared in the United States, which referred to only five cases of infection in the United States. But in fact, the virus appeared much earlier. Scientists say that he likely moved from monkeys to humans back in the 1930s because some tribes hunted chimpanzees. At the moment, it has been established that there are two strains of HIV. HIV-1 comes from a chimpanzee and HIV-2 from a small African monkey. Within these two strains, there are also several other varieties of the virus, but the most dangerous of them is HIV-1. Early strains of the virus were very weak and easily destroyed by the human immune system, but over the years it mutated and became deadly. At first, society believed that HIV was exclusively a gay disease, because in the 60s and 70s it was actively spreading in their community. Only later it was found that not only gay men were at high risk of infection, but also sex workers in general, as well as injection addicts. By the way, the movie Dallas Buyers Club was made about this in 2013, by the way, he received three Oscars. You probably know the main transmission paths yourself, but let me remind you. Usually, the virus spreads through blood through blood transfusion, transplantation of infected tissues, sharing syringes, through tattooing equipment, dental instruments, etc., sexually, from mother to child during pregnancy, childbirth, and breastfeeding. Once in the body, it destroys the cells of the immune system. 
and when the immune system is sufficiently weakened, other diseases appear in the human body. This is AIDS-acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. Moreover, some people are immune to this infection. This can be of two types, with the first, the infection is destroyed immediately. With the second, HIV is not able to develop into AIDS. The first type is mainly found among the peoples of Scandinavia. It appears due to a rare genetic mutation, CCR5 Delta 32, and does not allow the virus to enter cells. And the second type occurs in one person out of 300. In this case, several special proteins in the blood do not allow the virus to multiply. There is no cure or vaccine for this virus. But there is antiretroviral therapy, which allows infected people to live up to 70 to 80 years, whereas without treatment, an infected person lives only 9 to 11 years. At the moment, more than 40 million people have died worldwide from HIV and related diseases. Many celebrities have died, the lead singer of the rock band Queen Freddie Mercury, the American science fiction writer Isaac Asimov, the philosopher and founder of the first department of psychoanalysis in France, Michel Foucault, the famous Soviet and French ballet dancer Rudolf Nureyev, and many others. Currently, there are about 38 million HIV-infected people in the world.